everybody. Today we are going to be ranking all 11 Ultra Beasts that are currently known. And you can find these Ultra Beasts in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, and Pokemon Ultra Moon. And these are in the Alola region where you can find them going through the Ultra Wormhole. Where then when you try to escape they will come and get an encounter with you. So we're going to be ranking all 11, starting with our beloved Theramosa. Theramosa, I personally never know how to feel about her. But, uh, isn't she like Bug Steel or Bug Fairy? Personally, I'm going to have to put her at B tier. Um, Nihiligo or Nihilego. This is personally my favorite, so it's going into S tier immediately. Buzz Swool. Big bug fighting. I don't think I've ever seen one of these guys. and I don't think I've ever seen a bug fighting. Except for like Caracross or maybe Pinsir. But if they're going to be... If like going into Nintendo's or Pokemon's. You know going into their minds. Thinking about how they decided to make a legendary Ultra Beast become bug fighting. I think that deserves an A tier at most. Zorka tree, that is a electrical Christmas tree going into D tier because it sucks. Celestela. Don't know how to feel about it, but uh, if this is your favorite Pokemon, you are simply Sophocles, and Sophocles sucks. He has what, three Pokemon? Charge Bug, Togedemaru, and a Magnezone? Like, what? Kartana. Kartana. Kartana, Kartana, Kartana. Originally, I was going to make a whole tier for him because literally I had no idea this guy existed until researching for this. But yes, he does suck, and I have no idea what to do with him. But he's kind of cool, but that still doesn't matter going to D tier. Guzzlord... When I was littler and I like only had access to the card games, I thought I didn't know Pichu existed because I never had a Pichu card. So I thought it, I thought the Pikachu line went Pikachu, Raichu, Guzzlord because I had a Guzzlord card, a Raichu card, and a Pikachu card. So um, yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm gonna just put him at A tier. Then we have Poipool, literally something that Ash used in the show. Poipool immediately going into S tier. So cute. Naganadal. This is just a downgrade from Poipool, if I'm being honest. Going into A tier. However, I do think that these guys wanted, like, some of these guys should have had Megas, like Mega Kartana. That could have been great. Mega Nihiligo or Mega Naganadal. Oh, here's another one. This one is actually tied as favorite with Nihiligo Blacephalon. Very great. Immediately going into S tier. Nothing about it. And coming in with our last one. Stack Attack, which was also owned by Ash in the show, but only for us like a like eleven minutes or like a whole episode, really. Some people say that inside of its bricks are actually a Mega Mewtwo X, or like a Mewtwo or something. I don't I don't know. It's just kind of mid, so um, there's no middle here. But if there was, it would be B. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.